It's uh, 76 years of independence, but we celebrated from 74 to 76, uh, 75 years of independence. It was big celebrations all over India and with the world, and it was called Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav. So today we end the celebrations, but we begin with 30 years of partnership with uh, South, South Africa, uh, diplomatic relations with South Africa. So uh, important day for us, an uh, important day. Now it, be, it is the beginning of golden era of India. India has become the fifth largest economy of the world and it is going to become the third largest in five years from now. The fifth largest economy in the world at a time where there are global issues. What role can India play to ensure that particularly developing nations do benefit to this growth of India? Yes, so we belong to the Global South. We recently held a Global South Summit. It was virtual in which 125 countries participated. And we have, uh, with the countries, we are ready to share whatever we have in technological development and in uh, whatever sphere uh, we, can, uh, we can work together and share our development with other countries. We have a development partnership uh, uh, with many countries of the South and we are ready to enhance that. And our development partnership is not based on you know, debt but based on partnership, on the demand. So that is how we want to work with the countries of the Global South. Particularly on manufacturing and pharmaceutical companies, India is doing very well. Yes, that's true. In pharmaceuticals, if you recall, during the COVID, we supplied medicines and uh, COVID vaccine and other things to 150 countries of the world. So we did very well uh, during that time when other countries closed up. You know, they were not ready to part. They wanted to vaccinate their own population first. But we shared our technologies, our pharmaceuticals with all with countries of the world. So in pharma, pharmaceuticals, we are cooperating. We are ready to establish vaccine uh, factories all over the world. Uh, we are talking with many countries of the global south in this regard. Already many pharma companies are working uh, in, in these countries. The big one, the Prime Minister is coming next week for the BRICS Summit. You are fairly new in this country and you are now going to host the Prime Minister. What can we expect? The no, Prime Minister is here for the BRICS Summit and uh, of course he'll participate in the BRICS Summit but uh, 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 the travel of Prime Minister to South Africa is always important. This is his third uh, visit to South Africa. He came in 2016, 2018 and now 2023. So uh, we have excellent relations with uh, with uh, uh, South Africa, and we expect good bilateral uh, discussions. Also, President Ramaphosa will be travelling to India for G20 summit in September. Mm -hmm. So this is a, and there's a continuation of relations between India and uh, South Africa at the highest level. Recently, they had a telephonic conversation. Also, they have been having many telephonic conversations, and they have been meeting on the sidelines. So uh, India and South Africa have good relations, we have a legacy of Gandhi and Nelson Mandela and we have to develop it further. So we are all working towards it, including the visit of Prime Minister will be another addition to this uh, growing relation with, with South Africa. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank you so much. The Ambassador talking about the importance of today, but also looking forward to the BRICS Summit, not only the BRICS Summit, the G20 in India, where President Ramaphosa will be participating. South Africa being the only country in the group, the G20, but uh, countries such as India, China, and the others pushing very hard that uh, the AU be admitted as a member of the G20.